He carried the hopes and dreams of 140 million of his compatriots when leading Russia into last summer's European Championships in France but Leonid Slutsky has never faced a more difficult challenge than the one that begins with Hull City this weekend. Yes, this is my hardest job, said Slutsky, breaking into one of those trademark broad grins. But only because it's English. Slutsky has stepped out of his comfort zone in being appointed City's head coach in June. Ever since taking his first steps into coaching after seeing his playing career cut short at the tender age of 19, Slutsky has worked exclusively in his homeland. Urelina Lista, FC Moscow, Krylia Sovitov are all staging posts on a journey that would see Slutsky guide CSKA Moscow to the Russian Premier League title in three of four seasons. Since ending a decorated seven-year spell in charge of the Muscovites in December, though, the 46-year-old has been eager to broaden his horizons. And English football became the unashamed aim. Moving to London, where he was supported by Chelsea owner and friend Roman Abramovic, Slutsky quickly learned English and studied countless Premier League and Championship games in preparation for the opportunity to become Marco Silva's successor at the KCOM Stadium. Season opener at Aston Villa as good as it gets for Hull City Slutsky has been given eight weeks to ready himself for Saturday's curtain raise away to Aston Villa but a coach that has built rich success upon man management is under no illusions of the task that awaits him in the championship this season. I listened to one interview with a foreign artist and he said he lost 80% of his level, said Slutsky. Speaking with players is a very important part of my work. I always try and joke with players. Joking is a very good motivation. You can have a serious idea but it's really very difficult to learn the English language. I hope my English will get better and better each day. Hull City boss Leonid Slutsky image PA Slutsky, thankfully, is no stranger to a challenge. Football appeared to have no place for him when his attempts to retrieve a neighbor's cat from a tree brought an accidental fall that would end his hopes of making it as a goalkeeper with FC Zaveda Gorodishchi. I ended up as a hero in my village because I saved the cat, said Slutsky in 2009. Unfortunately, I also fell out of the tree and injured my knee. After a patient climb up the coaching ladder slowly made City's head coach a respected figure in Russia's by the age of 39 he was the man tasked with ending CSK a Moscow's title drought in the Russian Premier League. Slutsky managed it not once, not twice but three times. There was also a couple of Russian cups for good measure. I started my coaching career when I was 22 because I had a serious injury, said Slutsky. When I finished university I started coaching boys at under 8. I had a serious career in Russia in the end but it didn't come quickly. It was a long-term project in Russia. I worked with youth team, senior team, the first division, the second division and then finally with CSKA. Leonid Slutsky won three league titles at CSKA Moscow image Getty such was Slutsky standing in Russia after his successes with CSKA Moscow, he was asked to take the reins from Fabio Capello as the national coach two years ago. Although he guided Russia through to the finals of Euro 2016, he was unable to work wonders with an aging squad. Against a backdrop of violence from Russia fans, most notably against England in Marseille, they finished bottom of their group to make Slutsky's position untenable. Another parting, this time from CSKA in December, made for itchy feet that have carried Slutsky all the way to East Yorkshire. A team relegated from the Premier League and may needs all the ebullience the Russian can muster if they are to escape the championship again. Another summer of upheaval is gradually transforming City with four weeks of the transfer window still remaining and Slutsky accepts it will need a collective effort if the Tigers are to reach the top flight again in May. It's a very hard tournament, said Slutsky. It starts in August and finishes in May, a serious competition with 46 matches plus cup matches. When I researched about the division, the minimum players a team used, without goalkeepers, was 22 players. For example, at CSKA we used 15 players in one season. In the championship it's a minimum of 22 so I understand it's a very difficult tournament. Hull City supplement plug one team could win seven matches in a row and then the same team might not win in seven matches. It's really very tough. And that's why it is so important to have leaders. Players who have experienced the championship. Like Myler, Klukas and Dawson. I think our core may be the most serious from all the teams in the championship.